Hey guys, hope you're having an incredible day. So one of the main things that I keep hearing in the community is that people don't have a ton of time in order to be able to create content that stands out. And so I've created this system within N8N where all you have to do is upload your final video and it'll instantly come up with a bunch of different titles. So it comes up with 10 different titles for you to choose from for that video. It gives you a description of that video and it also gives you all the tags. And then from there, you can specify your video type and you can schedule it directly onto your content calendar. And once it has hit that time, it'll trigger this second N8N scenario and post directly to that social media platform. And so in today's video, we are going to be building this out step by step from scratch. If you're looking for access to this blueprint completely for free, you can join the No Code Nation. It's our community. We're at 367 members and growing strong. And I look forward to seeing you in there and seeing you contribute. And so just to give you a demo, if I expand this right here, and I go and drop in a new final video. Go ahead, we'll hit upload file. So now it's gonna upload. Now in a second, we're going to see that this trigger has now activated. It's set on a minute timer. So every minute it is running and it's looking for new content that got posted into here. And what it's going to do is it's going to download that video from Airtable. It's going to send it to Cloud Convert. So it's going to convert that file for us from MP4 to MP3. It's gonna wait for that file to finish, then it's going to download that file, transcribe the mp3 into text, and then pass it through chat GPT saying I want you to generate 10 viral titles from my video that will make people want to click it, a description of what is covered in the video and hyper specific tags that people will search to find this. Here's the script and we're sharing the script from the transcription and the output format that we want. And once that is done, it'll then go and update our Airtable base with the title, the description and the tag. And we can see, you know, this is one of my videos that I've coming up What how our AI revolutionized lead engagement, you know, we get 10 different really good titles. So let's say I just wanted to go with that one, I could remove the rest. And so now once we have that, we can come into our calendar, we see that we now have this piece of content that we can schedule and we can set the posting time directly from here. So we'll go in, we'll choose, let's say we want to post this at 10 a.m. on the 29th. So now that video is scheduled. And what's going to happen is that as soon as it hits this time at 10 a.m., we have an automation within, within our Airtable that is going to trigger this webhook. It's going to get that record and then it's going to upload that video to YouTube. And so that's a high level overview of how this entire content generator and content scheduler works. I wanted to make this a suite or a tool that you can use and be able to, you know, quickly plan out your content. So even if you have ideas, you can come in here and write down your ideas and you can start to plan out how you want your videos to drop and just allows you to build really robust content calendar for your needs. So now to do this, we are going to need a couple different fields. So I'll just run you through the fields. So the first one's going to be title generator. This is going to be long text. So go ahead, add that in. Then we have an ID. This is just an auto number that's associated with every single record so that we have a unique identifier. Then we have a description that's also going to be a long text. And then we have the tags associated with that video, which is also going to be long text. After that, we're going to use a single select, and this is going to be video type, and we just have the different types of videos that you could create. And so why this is important is because when you choose your video type within here, you can start to branch off and have different paths to be able to create this content and just format it correctly for that platform. You know, certain platforms have different description lengths and title lengths and all of that. So by having this in, you not only specify the platform that it's going to trigger, but the formatting requirements for that platform. Then we have the posting time. So this is when you want to post the video. This is just going to be a date. Make sure you have include time turned on. That's really important here. And then I also turned on display time zone. After that, we have a final video field. So this is where you'll upload your final videos. It's just going to be an attachment. And then we have a last modified time, which we are going to set two specific fields. And that is going to be the last modified time of the final video, because this is what we are using as our trigger. So when you upload a new video, this is going to change the last modified time. And then within our Airtable trigger, 
in N8N, you can see that the trigger field is the last modified time and we have download attachments turned on. And then lastly, we have record ID. So go ahead and add in all of those fields and record ID is a formula, which is equal to record ID, just like that. Okay, awesome. So this is really our content generation table. And then you can go ahead and add in a calendar and you'll get a view like this. When you add in your calendar, you'll get prompted with this field, which is to choose your date field. And we're saying we want to use the posting time as our date field within here. And then we are also adding colors. So it's just something that's more visually appearing. So the coloring records are going to be the same as the different colors. So I set YouTube to red because YouTube's logo is red. And that way, when you add, drop in YouTube, it'll appear as a red icon. And you know, visually that this is red, that this is for YouTube. And then under customized labels, we're just going to turn on title generator video type and the posting time. And that way, when you're in your table, you can easily just click on it and you'll have access to when that's going to be posted and what platform it's going to be posting to. And you can always expand here and get the rest of that information. And then within your grid view, you're just going to group by video type. Let's say we had this equal to YouTube. You'll see that we now have a YouTube one. And if we were to change this to Instagram reel, the row is going to move. And now we can look at all our different content organized by what platform that it's going to be posting to. So there is one key to this whole posting functionality, which is the ready to post formula. So what's going on here is we're saying if the posting time is blank, so meaning if there is no posting time, we'll keep it as zero. But if the current time is greater than or equal to the posting time that we set, turn this to a one, and then that's going to trigger our automation which is going to post that video to YouTube. So within here, we want to say we're going to create a new condition. So create automation, add a trigger, and then we're going to say when record matches conditions. We're going to go ahead, choose that table. So table one, and we're going to say when the, we're going to say when ready to post is equal to one. And the video type is equal to YouTube in this case, because we're building it out for YouTube. And that the final video is not empty, meaning we have a file in this final video field then that means it's ready to post. And at that point, we are going to run a script. And so the script we're running is we're saying, you know, send the information to this webhook. And this webhook is going to be the webhook in the content poster. So when you import the content poster, you're going to grab your production URL. So you're going to click to copy that and hop back into your script. And then you can just paste it right here. And then we're saying, and the record ID is equal to the record ID. So we're going to add an input variable here. We're going to call it record ID with a capital I. And the value is going to be the Airtable record ID from the table. And then we're saying the action is equal to post YouTube. And so what's happening here is when these conditions are satisfied, so when the ready to post time is the current time, and we have a video that is ready to post, we're going to run this script, which is really just going to trigger this webhook. And then we're going to get that record. So we're pointing it to that base with that table. And then we're grabbing the record ID that's being passed so that we can get all the information on that. And when we post that video to YouTube, we are just specifying the title that we've chosen in our content generator, the description and the tags that were generated dynamically. I've turned on notify subscribers, and then we were saying input binary field. So this is where we will pass the video URL that's going to be posted. And that's it. So it's a really simple three-step framework that we have here. And then within, within our content generation portion, right, when we're generating all of those assets, it's connected to Cloud Convert. So we're posting it to this specific job board which is going to convert that file because MP4 files are much bigger in size compared to MP3s. So we're going to convert it from video to audio and then transcribe that audio. And so the headers, you're going to need authorization. You're going to need your bearer and your API token. So to do that, you just have to hop in a cloud convert, then click on dashboard, and then you can click on authorization under API and API keys, and then just create a new API key give it all the possible scopes, just like that, give it a name. And then afterwards, you're going to be presented with your API key. And then you can just copy that, come back into your automation right here and just paste in your API key. And so this is the JSON request content that we're using. We're essentially saying, you know, import this file from our Airtable in the final video. 
right here, import that in. And then we're saying we want to convert this into MP3. And so this is going to send the job request to Cloud Convert. And then the next one is really just waiting on that job to finish. So we're using another endpoint, which is the jobs wait endpoint, which is just saying, hey, like I'm going to wait until this conversion has finished. And once that conversion is finished, we are then going to get that video. And then lastly, we're going to download that file. So here, what's really important is that you have this question mark redirect true at the end. And same thing, we're passing the headers of, uh, of our API token. So then it's going to download that file. We are then going to transcribe that recording using OpenAI. And then we generate the outputs that we require and push it back to Airtable. And then you're left with a bunch of different titles, a description tag, so you can very quickly create all of your content assets besides the video that are required to post to YouTube. Now, lastly, I'm just going to clean this up a little and we're going to hide some of these fields. We'll hide that field. We can hide ready to post. And we're also going to hide the last modified time in the record ID just to make it look a little bit nicer. So now we just have the title, the description, the video type or the platform we're going to be posting to and when we want to post it and the final video for it to post. So this is a pretty simple automation, but I just wanted to show you the capabilities of being able to schedule content ahead of times. So you have a calendar, it'll post directly to any of your social media platforms. And then in here, you can just come up with all of your content ideas and generate all of the assets that are required in order for you to post. So if you did get value to this, I would really appreciate it. Subscribe, it's free, it helps support the channel and allows me to keep making videos like this for you. And with that being said, hope you have an incredible rest of your day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.